This video reviews selection pressures. Variations among different members of a species are very important to evolution. Variations are differences among members of a species. Examples include blood type, skin color, body color in bugs, and speed in cheetahs. These variations may become more or less advantageous based on selection pressures. Genetics play a role in natural selection. Where do variations come from? This originally could not be explained. Scientists later discovered variations occur from differences in our genes. We get genes randomly from both parents, so probability of genetics plays a role. Remember learning about Punnett squares and pedigrees. Only genes that are, that are inherited can be part of natural selection. Some variations make individuals better suited for the environment. Those individuals are more likely to survive and reproduce. Offspring may inherit the advantageous traits, making them more likely to survive and pass on the traits. After many generations, more members of the species will have this trait. Helpful variations may accumulate in a species, while unfavorable ones may disappear or lessen. An example of this is giraffes with long necks. There are, there are different things that can influence selection. Overproduction is an example. Most species produce more offspring than can possibly survive. Examples include spiders, because they lay many eggs at one birth. There is not enough food, water, and living space for all of them, and this creates a struggle among the offspring. The ones with the advantageous variations will survive and hopefully reproduce so they can pass on their advantageous traits to their offspring. Competition is another selection pressure. Food, space, territory, and resources are limited in nature. Members of a species compete to survive. These competitions are not always physical. They can be indirect. For example, trees compete for sunlight, but there is not a physical fight. A smaller tree will receive less sunlight than an adjacent tree which is taller than it in, the, in a rainforest. The larger tree is competing with the smaller one for the same sunlight. Again, the organisms with the variations that are advantageous to the competition will survive and hopefully reproduce so they can pass on their advantageous traits to their offspring. Environmental changes are also selection pressures. A change in environment can affect an organism's ability to survive. Therefore, it can lead to natural selection. For example, monkey flowers do not grow in soil with high concentrations of copper. However, however after some of them have a variation to survive in soil with copper, those plants will be the ones to reproduce over many generations. Monkey grass in locations can grow in soil with high copper. Also, think about the environmental changes you saw in the moth, snake, and sheep activities. Again, the one with the advantageous variations will survive and hopefully reproduce so they can pass on their advantageous traits to their offspring. Human interference can lead to natural selection. Humans can disrupt an animal's habitat and create a change in the advantageous variation. Can you think of an example of this?